hey guys welcome to another brand new video and today in this video i talk with you about how you can recover deleted data on your mac so in the back i have a macbook pro 15 inch macbook pro from 2015 and here we have a folder named personal documents and inside this we have couple of documents so what i'm going to do we're going to delete the folder so means we're going to put this folder into trash folder this is the trash so now we, we can recover this folder easily just click on it and put it back and it will uh, recover but in case we decide to empty the bin are you want to sure you want to permanently erase the item in the trash you cannot undo this action so if we empty the trash and then we realize that inside the folder we have our important documents and we don't make any kind of backup now we want it back so guys, uh, if you are in this situation, today in this video, I'll show you guys how you can recover data from an empty trash which you accidentally deleted. So guys, let's get started. Okay guys, welcome back to my MacBook and here I open our website. Name is Genoshare for the Dig website. The website link is in the description below. So today we're going to download this 4D Dig Mac data recovery software. This software also works on Windows. Now, if you are a Windows user, you can scroll down and click on here. Also available for Windows, and you can download the Windows version and follow me. This is a software that support uh, recovering everything from lost and recover from all Mac-based devices, including USB, SD card, digital camera, etc. Trusty 100% securely recovered data file on Mac with high success rate. Easy, just three click away to restore data. No tech knowledge required. And first, first scan kind and of recover your files. So today in this video, we're going to download the software, install it on my Mac, and then try to recover some data. So guys, let's get started. Now guys, we're going to download the software. You can download it from clicking on this download button, or you can scroll down and you can click on free download free download for mac os 10.10 and above click here to download the software allow to download now download completed it's 21.8 mb see which operating system i'm using about this mac so it's 10.15.7 catalina so uh, this software will work on this os now download completed and click here to install the software extracting to install the software, we need to click this on icon and drag it over the application folder. So it's now copying all of these application files. So guys, the application is installed. Now let's open the software. So you go to the launch pad and here is the Tenoshare 4 dick Okay, Tenoshare 4 dick is an app downloaded from the internet. I do want to open it. Allow, I need to allow it to open. Okay, here it asking for the password i'll put my password okay now here on the browser is showing installation successful check out the user guide of tenoshare 4 dig on mac so guys as you see how easy it is to install the software just drag and drop and done and this is the gui of the tenoshare 4 dig software uh, we can recover data from trash we can recover data from external drive ssd external devices even we can recover data from crashed mac os so guys let's test it so guys our first test will be the trash test so here on this desktop we have a folder name is folder and inside this folder we have two pictures on videos on apk file on text file and a sample pdf file so what are you going to do you're going to delete it so move to bin now it's inside the trash and inside this file as you see we have all of these files now what are you going to do we're going to empty the bin empty are you sure you want to permanently erase the items inside the bin uh you cannot undo this action so let's empty the bin now everything is empty the folder is deleted and if you don't have any kind of special software you cannot recover those files if you accidentally delete it there is no way you can recover this file uh, without any kind of special software so i'm going to click on this trash and try to recover this file let's see what happened guys so click on a scan to recover data from mac os 3 and later you need to disable the system in gritty production by following these steps below in advance your mac will restart during process and take a photo with your phone and save steps okay guys now we need to follow this step hold command plus r so you need to hold the command plus r these two button 
while restarting and then if you are using um, iMac or iMac Pro please use a wired keyboard they recommend you to connect a wired keyboard then open the terminal utility menus step 3 type the following commands and enter a key to disable then restart your Mac I'm just capturing screen using my phone in case I forget it shut down this close everything now Apple menu uh, restart restart command plus R while it's restart complete you need to press and hold command plus R so as you see guys the recovery mode open utilities I need to go this utilities then here is terminal and to click on here then on the terminal I here I need to type C S R U T I L disable so this command and then I need to hit enter successfully disable the system integrity protection please restart the machine for the changes to take effect now to restart the machine here terminal and restart okay guys so the system integrity protection is successfully disabled now I click on to no share for dig now it's asking for the password the password then hit enter now I on click on trash a scan okay now it's scanning the trash uh, it will take time near about two hours so within few minutes the software able to find the deleted folder this folder we deleted and we don't need to scan whole hard disk which take long time near about two to three hours so we'll stop it here okay stop uh, are you want to share you want to stop the scanning yes uh, now what are you going to we're going to recover those deleted files now uh, select those files you need to recover I will recover all of these files now click on recover now it asking me for registration okay so we need to buy it probably so I click on register now and I need to put here my email address and the registration code now click on register okay register successfully now click on recover okay now I need to select the location uh, I will save on desktop I'll create a new folder here name it folder folder recover create now open savings files to the partition is lost then you will reduce the chances of successful recovery do you want to continue yes and guys while I was recovering data I did these mistakes saving the file to the partition where you lost them will reduce the chances of successful recovery are you sure you want to continue so I did yes so here guys I did a wrong thing because whenever you write on the same disk the data may be overwritten on the lost data so the chances of getting the lost data is reduced so i recommend you guys use any kind of external device like pen drive sd card anything and save the recovered data there just don't repeat my bad mistake now here we get a message recovery completed now let's open it okay macintosh hd trash folder and inside this we get all of your files so guys this is the picture yeah this is the picture so this is the sample pdf file let's see whether it can open it or not and this is a video file okay the video file working perfectly so i think everything every data we recovered successfully using this tono share 4 dig software next we're going to recover some data from our sd card and guys this is the sd card we just inserted and here inside this folder we have a couple of photos this is a photo of a flower and there are a few other photos guys and inside this I think we have a video file a mob file uh, now what are you going to do you're going to delete everything from the SD card and let's see whether we are able to recover that data or not so we'll delete uh, move to bin and empty bin so SD card now is empty everything is deleted from the SD card now we'll open the application uh, this is the application now we'll search for external drive 
okay so us digital this is the sd card 8 gb sd card select it and then scan so guys quick scan completed okay so using quick scan if you don't find your files you can try this deep scan it will take a little long time now let's see you see the review of those pictures too now we can recover all of these pictures and videos okay this is a video now we select this canon now recover okay select the destination i will save it on desktop create a new folder name canon is d card recovered create open and now it's copying all of these files recovery completed open us digital canon and inside this you can see all of these photos and videos that we completely deleted from this sd card so all of this photo i took today using my dslr and there is a little video just open it see whether it's able to play the video or not sometime it's not able to play the recovered video uh let's play using plc so as you see guys the video also recovered some software not able to recover videos uh, it's hard to recover video compared to still pictures uh, so guys that's how we can recover deleted photos videos from any kind of digital studios like sd card ssd hard disk pen drive etc also we can recover deleted file from the trash bin if we permanently delete those files in mac we also can recover it and i think turnshare 4 ddig is a great recovery software for recovering data on mac also windows so if you guys accidentally deleted your data or permanently deleted data from your trash and you want it back you can try this software guys so guys uh, hope you guys like this video and if you like it make sure it's mega big thumbs up and if you guys have any question any suggestion let me in the comment section below i definitely reply every one of your questions that's been said my name is Ovijit Roy I'm signing out and I will meet with you on my next video till then bye bye